Hi, this is Ed from Wright. Today we're going to talk about hills, riders, stand-ons, duels, tweels, uh, in generally about mowing on hills. So hang on, we'll talk about that in a second. Today is uh, it's just the early November. It's the coldest day of the year so far. It's about 40 degrees out today. Um, we sh typically shoot on Wednesdays and we post a video at 4 o'clock on Fridays. So if you're interested in hearing more about this kind of stuff, subscribe. <music> Here we have the new ZXT. Uh, this machine has got 40 horsepower, 52 to 72 inch decks. And here we have uh, one equipped with the dual tweel set up. The off-road tweels gives us a ton of stability. Uh, we're also uh, planning to offer dual air tires on this machine. And uh, we're going to talk more about hills here in a second. But if you're really serious about um, mowing that type of territory, I would actually recommend a ZK with duels over this particular machine. Um, and, and we'll talk about that in a second, but we have duels for the ZK and for the ZXT. Uh, one thing that makes the ZXT unique compared to just about every other rider on the market is that uh, we mount the clutch on the engine first and then the, the uh, pump drive pulley below that. And that allows our engine to be about eight inches lower than most uh, riders that are out there. So although our seat is higher and, and comfortable like this, we have a lot of that large heavy components, the pumps deep, deep down on the bottom of the machine that helps give us uh, a lot of stability. So uh, as, as we talk about duels and hills and these types of things, um, I think we, we need to talk about safety because that's always the concern as soon as you get on ground that's not flat. Um, and first off, there's not a, a degree slope that we recommend. Um, it's just the same as when you buy a truck, uh, they don't tell you how fast you can go around a corner. That's a very complex risk assessment. Um, having to do with the conditions, your tires, uh, the skill of, a, of the driver, um, all, all kinds of things. And same with the mower. So um, if the ground has recently been sprayed and it's really slippery and you've got a retaining wall down there, that's an extremely hazardous scenario. And a scenario where the, the tires have a lot of tread on them, the ground is dry and you have flat ground down here, um, that is a lower risk situation. So you have to evaluate every situation that you're facing. Um, anytime that you're mowing where it's a, a continuous slope above a drop off or water, um, I just, I wouldn't use a riding machine. Uh, it's just, it's just not a situation you want to set yourself up for or any of your employees. Uh, one thing that can be deceiving about water is when you look at it, it's flat, but right under the surface of the water, it's typically always a drop off, something that'll cause the machine to roll over, um, roll over there. The other thing is the type of machine affects your risk uh, as well. So a uh, stand-on machine, because you're standing on the back of it and you're not attached to the machine, in a worst case scenario, and some type of an accident or emergency, you can always let go of the machine uh, and you don't have to, to be attached with it or go with it. Whereas in a rider, you're in the machine and we have things like a roll bar and a seat belt as, as countermeasures to reduce uh, some risks. Um, and, and the seatbelt is very important. In order for the roll bar to be effective, you have to be uh, held right here in the middle of the machine. Um, so I, I always wear a seatbelt if I'm um, encountering any conditions like this. Actually, I, I almost always wear the seatbelt. Um, keeps you in the machine, you know, so you can, you can um, get on with your work. It holds you in the seat. It's much safer. Uh, your roll bar should be up anytime unless you're going underneath trees or something you can't go underneath there um, it's easy to forget about it and leave it down all the time um, and that's tends to be right when accidents happen so um, yeah be real cautious and you know I think uh, the, the, the landscape industry so many people look at hills the steepest hill I can get on um, as if that's bragging rights um, and I really think that that's um, that that's a bad uh, subculture uh, it, within our industry and something that um, is not productive. We don't want to be um, 
to be bragging that we take the greatest risks. Um, that, that might be a competition of stupidity. Um, so really we want to be about sound decision making, really understanding risk assessments, um, using the right equipment for the right job, making sure the equipment's properly maintained. Uh, all those things are, are very important and, and we want to make um, very uh, reasonable and cautious risk assessments. That's really what's most important here. Um, so, so that's a little bit about Hills uh, and these machines. Uh, the other thing is that this ZXT, it has the, the Vanguard oil, oil guard system on it. And um, because of that, it means that you can get up on a, the, the machine's capability when you're on a steeper slope. Um, all the oil's in the oil tank, most of the oil's in the oil tank, so you don't have an issue with the oil either sloshing to the side of the engine where uh, it can't reach the pump or so much oil that now it's getting in the combustion chamber or something like that. So um, in terms of the machine's physical capability, um, it, it has no problems up to 30 degrees. That's, that's not the issue here. The other thing um, that's not relative to Hills, but a tire setup like this uh, is very effective, especially a lot of newer sites. They have um, extensive water control areas, so there might be a, a pond reservoir that's dry most of the year or the, or the bottom of it's flat and soggy, but you have to mow that. A, a tire setup like this allows you to have that low ground pressure and get in places like that a lot better. So uh, we're going to drive the machine around for a few minutes, uh, show you what it looks like, what it can do. You'll see that backing up a hill or making a downwards turn that the machine has uh, tons of traction. <laughs> as we wrap up a couple te technique uh, things. First off, this aggressive tread on these tires, it will rip up things if you make a, a pivoting turn instead of a three-point turn on light ground, uh, but that's what, not what this is for. This is for these conditions where you're getting into something that's soft ground, uh, that kind of thing. You want low ground pressure. The air tires, the dual air tires, the treads aren't nearly as aggressive, and because there's such low ground pressure down there, they tend to slide without uh, tearing up the turf. Um, so really not as bad as you would think for the uh, turf tires with the twheels. Um, it is real, real aggressive on the, on the ground. Okay, the other technique item is when you're mowing a slope, it's best to always start at the bottom and work your way up. If you work at the top and you work your way down, you have to make downhill turns. If you start at the bottom, ideally on the bottom right-hand side, so your first pass is the chute going up, and you zigzag back and forth up the hill. That'll allow you to cut that area faster um, and with those uphill, it'll be faster because your uphill turns will, you'll have more control with your uphill turns. Also, uh, it's safer to be turning uphill because you keep that weight uphill of the machine so it doesn't pull you down, down the slope. Um, it's also easier on the hydras and that kind of thing if you zigzag uh, rather than go up and down the hill. So uh, a little less fuel consumption. Uh, we definitely recommend going side to side uh, if the slope of the hill allows for it. So a couple technique things there. Hope you all have a good rest of your winter.